What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some blue lock. Today we're doing episode 11. This one is called The Final Piece. I am very excited to hopefully finish this game with uh the uh, Nagi and Rayo and Zentetsu and all that. I did want to let you guys know real quick, I did watch the World Cup game this morning, so I'm super exhausted, but huge shout out Croatia. I did want uh, want both teams to go on, to be honest, to get third place, to uh, get that final placement, especially for Africa, Morocco. Um, but huge shout out to France and Argentina tomorrow. I do want Messi to win. A lot of you guys in the comments down below have been saying, especially with how much I've been getting into football lately, that you guys would be down with some football reactions specifically. So if there's any ever, uh, any highlights, specifically any World Cup moments, any character highlights or anything like that, I really have no idea what to react to when it comes to the football scene. So like I said, if you guys want to let me know, I'd appreciate that immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. Check out that Patreon for the full uncuts. Make sure you guys subscribe. All that jazz. Blue Lock, episode 11, the final piece. Let's do it. The old me from those days. Are you watching? It's right here. They're actively fighting and pursuing it. Look at, oh my God, the way they're showing their eyes and their anime. Like, I like this. Kuan just wants some great competition. He just wants people who go all out no matter what that are gonna unlock his potential and keep going them surpass their limits come on no mid-range shot for kunigami who's gonna save it raichi oh bugger is sprinting in come on man he did tell you to score his defense and his assist are gonna be the reason we win this come on i've grown to like raichi a lot over these last few episodes <laughs> that's that perfect spot for a goal to be made okay i love how he runs those simulations in his head that is so sick such a callback to episode one when bachira also passed it to isagi and isagi pulled through see that's what i don't like nagi with his black galaxy looking shit So we have a one second head start. He can get the first touch, but. So what are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm not sure, unless you're Naki, that that would work. That's what I'm saying. Can you even do something like that? I love how this is all happening in such slow motion with the final jigsaw piece that he needs to complete that puzzle. Is missing right there. Oh! The way they animate his monstery ass self. He breaks the entire jigsaw puzzle himself. He... Remember your goal. The equation. Find the formula. And the final piece that missing jigsaw puzzle is? Bro, when they animated that, I got fucking chills all over my body. That's the final piece for his formula. I love the heavy black lines all over their outlines with the music. Isaki Yoichi awakens. Oh my god, we did it. We beat Team V. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot wait genuinely to rewatch that during editing. Like, I'm shook. Nagi's still trying to go. He still has that monster turned on. Little do you know, time's out, buddy. I think even though we used their team to propel us to new heights, I think this is some good character development for them. I think Nagi could totally come back later on some high Q Kuroko no Basket shit and be a, an amazing character. It's hard to stomach. We had some great Kuan, Rayo, and Nagi character development. But, you know, right? She can recognize. Come here, traitor. Come on. I love when Raichi gets that, like, calm, mellow voice. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That was just like a. 
that was like the what you deserve. Come on. Come on back. Now. now we're even now. Exactly. You always got to get a solid punch to get even, but now we're back in, you know. Team V, of course, they're first place. They're insane. Second place, Team Z, come on. The top scores, uh, three players progress, which we've got uh, one of the Wanima brothers. We got Nico and Baro, of course. Of course. Baro scored 10 goals. Oh, celebrate with some fucking team meals. We got gyoza, edamame, whatever the fuck we're eating, man. I'm happy. I think they're my favorite duo of the show so far. Bachira and Isagi. Yes, he did. Just straight direct shot. No ball controlling. Which, I don't want to pause it again, but I watched a little, like a three minute video on uh, some of Ronaldo's best plays because my friend, who's also super into football, wanted to come show me something. And he did that same exact thing. Like, like, and I'm talking the amount of precision. I was flabbergasted when Ronaldo did it as well. So I'm so glad they did it in Blue Lock. But he got like a midfield, like it was like a 50 meter pass, a midfield pass over him directly. And instead of stopping the ball to control it, just fucking readjust his body and straighten the pass. Oh my, straight into a goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my, this shit is flabbergasting to me. Oh, these are the other teams that got eliminated fully and they're out of blue lock completely. Their entire life dream of being a, a a player on the Japan's national team is over. It is a good little humbling or, you know, showing us this, you know. What's up, Nico? And it awakened me, of course, Nico awakened too. I mean, we did roast him for that. He's like, you had the same situation as I did, but you passed it instead of scoring. Okay, I love that. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. We have so many characters that are going to come back, you know? Bring it on any time. <laughs> An interesting way to look at it, right? Who knows what will keep coming out of this. They're so exhausted from their match, they didn't even get to celebrate. <laughs> I love that. No eating for them. Get some good sleep. <laughs> we went to sleep savoring the taste of victory. Oh, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Yeah, so this is the little training arc we needed. Especially because, like I said, I've been watching the World Cup lately and I've seen those players out there who can non-stop run for like an hour and a half straight. Oh, yep. That's what comes from running. I can't lie, though. I am feeling a little inspired. I kind of do want to work out, get some running done right now. Nine days of pure conditioning. Who the fuck is that? Isaguri? <laughs> Igaguri? Who the fuck? Second stage. Ooh, other building people? So this is all building five still. We're not intermingling. Huh? He told them they were all number five to give them more of a drive, ambition to really put, light that fire under their ass. That's actually really smart. And to destroy their confidence, you know, give you the hunger to be. I like that a lot. That's smart as shit. Literally, his only option. Ooh, the hunger for goals, like they're saying, you know, living in the slum. Ooh, I love the way he's wording this shit. He's like a poet. We will begin the second selection, round two, starting now. Oh, I can't wait for that shit. One at a time. Yeah. 
Iga, I was literally just about to say Iga Guri. So that's so funny they cut to him. You can't be carried this time, Connie. You gotta fucking do something. I've seen him in the opening. This man's a goddamn magician. He's over here practicing like he's hunt shooting or whatever you call the trophy shooting with soccer balls. I'm done with my warm up, he said, and he goes. Wait, oh wait, 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 wait. That was the guy we've seen. Itoshi Say, so is I'm assuming his brother. So Itoshi Ren and Itoshi Say. Interesting. We haven't seen Say in a minute. Interesting. And his just um, his kicks that he just did right there, one like this, and then the other one to go under to hit it. Pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> They're just gonna have a line of everybody on their team. But yeah, but one defense. I contributed to, like a lot. You did have everyone. <laughs> Guys, this is so funny. We are unreal. I love that as a squad. Oh, they're using the ending as we're going into the second selection. Challenger, Isagi Yoichi. Alright, let's see what's waiting for me. As you open the door and a fucking titan comes out. Don't, come on, show me, come on, show me, no, <laughs> It's just crazy to me how blessed I feel as an anime watcher. I mean, don't get me wrong. The World Cup makes it even better and just adds on top of Blue Lock. But if you think about it, everything that's coming a month from now in January, Saturdays are still filled with, filled with absolute peak My Hero, peak Blue Lock. And then we're going to have like Tokyo Revengers, Bungo Stray Dogs, Don Machi, uh, fucking Tokyo Revengers, Vinland Saga. I don't even know what you know what I'm trying to say. We have so much shit. We're still bleach. We got the reincarnated as a slime movie. Like anime fans are eating right now. And I am so this was, I think in my opinion, my favorite episode of Blue Lock yet. And it was so fucking good. Whether it was from Kuon, Raichi, like the, their little recap at the end there of everything they did that was unreal. Everyone had a fucking moment to shine. I loved it. He's like, no, nah, but my shots, unreal. My defense, unreal. My dribbling, on I love that shit. Shouts out to Bachira, Chigiri, Kunigami, Igaguri, Iemon, Gagamaru, Naruhaya, Kuon. I'm trying to think of everyone else that I'm fucking missing. Imamura, you know, er er Raichi. You know, shouts out to the whole fucking squad. I appreciate them immensely. I love how we can still see Nagi, Baro, Nico, the Wanima brothers as future enemies. We still have uh, Itoshi Rin, who, like, we have many, many episodes of amazingness to happen in the future. I am, oh my god, ready for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.